I don't go out many red carpets, but if it's something, you know, that's important to me, either a friend hosting it or something, then I'm here. Um, and I think UNESCO is really important. I love the whole kind of feeling behind it. I just, you know, I remember reading Teach Your Boy to Fish and you never, uh, you know, what is that a motto they have of self-sufficiency and education? So that's really important. I think Queen of the Universe is, uh, you know, a very good cause as well. I mean, it's kind of a nice thing to celebrate the beauty of women, and she works very hard at it. So that's why I'm here. Exactly. Well, what charity work are you like involved in besides? Oh my God, this week it's been a lot. Um, I mean, I'm a spokesperson for the LGBT community for Glad, so I'm always doing things for them. Um, I mean, I've done quite a lot for them. Um, I'm a spokesperson for NAP, National Alopecia Arta Foundation, for children that have lost their hair. And so Jiggy's a spokesperson for that because Jiggy has alopecia, so he goes on the marches and, and does things really to kind of cheer up the children as well and show that you can be the most famous dog in the world and have alopecia and bring a bit of levity to the situation. So we've done things like that. Um, also, I host the Hero Dog Awards um, on the red carpet and I hosted just a benefit this week to kind of do the kickoff for the American Humane Association. So yeah, I do a lot of things, but I'm trying to run my businesses, trying to do everything else. So yeah, that's why I don't socialize much. Right, um, well, and you're on two shows, so which one would you say has the most drama? Uh, Vanderbump Rules or The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Oh my God, I think they're vastly different. I, I think um, in Vanderpump Rules, like I'm the pigeon, shall we say. <laughs> And in Housewives, I'm the statue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So you'd rather be watching the drama than be involved in it, I guess? I'm never somebody that's kind of like looking for trouble, unlike some of my castmates, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it got a bit too like hot in that kitchen of Housewives this, this season. I left in tears one, you know, one episode. So the um, reunion's tomorrow night. Can you give us any spoilers or anything like that? No, you're going to have to sit down. You're going to have to watch it. Are you going to be coming back next season? I don't know. I really don't know. I know a lot of questions have been asked, and a lot of people say you shouldn't. <laughs> I hope you do. I love watching you. I think a lot of people have been... I have to say, the women were against me, but I have to say the audience wasn't. And that meant a lot to me because I felt like I was swimming alone there. So, you know, the fact the audience being so supportive, uh, that means a lot. If it had gone the other way, then I don't know, but... Exactly. You showed people that everyone, no matter your age, people are bullied and you're like a... I know. I don't like that. No, you're just there to support everyone. I'm proud to say that I would never be part of that. And I'm also proud to say that my children know better than that. So there you have it. That's very good. That's the most important thing. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's nice meeting you. Thank you.